Wake up. What's good? Good morning. I'm up early. It's 6.40. Um, This is my new routine, though. I'm going to try it out. I just want to say wake up in every way. Wake up with your friggin' normal bed where you open your eyes, but wake up your brain. Let's go already. It's Monday. I'm saying I'm waking up at this time for a new routine. I had something to do this morning, but I'm going to use it as a chance for me to try to waking up, start waking up at 6 instead of 7, and then going to bed even earlier. And I just want to let you know I'm not like this. I never was. This all started about last year, probably the middle of last year, or not even, but I didn't even read a book till last year, and it took me like the whole year because I read like the first couple chapters, put it down, and it wasn't until Rob Deerdeck mentioned the book again and how impactful the second half was that it made me read the other half. My point is is that this weekend I spent reading books and I read for hours just because it's helping improve my brain. It's not that I'm I'm liking the actual act of reading, it's that my motivation is so different now. And I don't I never used to wake up early. I didn't even go to sleep without a TV till middle of last year. I would go to sleep falling asleep watching something, which was so bad for my brain, all these different things and really detrimental to my sleep because it was so hard to sleep without the TV. And now, just about a week or two ago, I took the TV out of my room for the first time in my entire life. I'm not like that. I'm not even, I'm not the type of person to be that disciplined to do all those things. It's just the momentum. It's the habits I'm choosing. And it's also the reasons why and the things I'm practicing. I'm doing them and I'm feeling better. So when you have, when you try something and you feel better and you get to do more of the things that you enjoy, it makes it so much easier. For example, if you Like the TV example, if I take it out, I sleep better and I wake up every day with that friggin' hype energy the same time every day and then I have a much better day and I do better on my podcast, which I love to do, it's a lot easier. And it wasn't that I just took the TV out and sleep anxiety free. No, it was first step was turn the TV off and try to go to sleep without it and then that didn't work so I would do it sometimes but then I started learning about meditation and that felt better and it was helping me fall asleep like in the middle of the day when I was just trying to take naps. Then I applied that to going to sleep at night. Then I started not using the TV to try to be consistent with the meditation to sleep. My point is there's little steps and I've been trying, trying, trying things one little step at a time and a lot of them don't work and a lot of them I don't like. For example, one of them I wanted to do cold showers every day where you, because I heard it was good for your immunity and if you know, if you hear me right now, I'm the sinus infected kid over here, congested every day and I heard that the um, uh, cold showers are good for your allergies and immunity. I tried it for like a couple weeks. I didn't really feel any difference with my allergies at all. I'm actually like really congested right now because I kind of just woke up, but I've been trying that, but but because I haven't seen any results, it's really hard for me to keep doing it, so I started, I, I kind of went off it for a month or two. I do it here and there. Sometimes at the end of my shower, I just do the cold setting for like 30 seconds. That's what I was trying to do every single day, but I kind of forgot about it because I wasn't really feeling any results, but now I'm trying to do it again. I'm going to look into it more, but what I'm trying to do now is while I'm in the shower, I think to myself, okay, if I do this 30 seconds of cold, which I hate, by the way, uh, and I think think to myself, this will cure my allergies by doing this every day. It's stronger motivation. I'm like, I could do 30 seconds. And after and I think to myself, after the shower, 30 seconds was nothing. I don't even remember it. But it's just in that moment, starting that habit is horrible. And I don't like it. But I'm trying to do that. But now, if you look, if you look at me now and you look at my, my Instagram or you watch my YouTube or you listen to this podcast, it seems like all these things are easy. And I just, I get... Um, a lot of energy from sharing the inspiration because of looking at myself just one year ago. I wasn't doing any of these things. I was sleeping in all the time normally like a normal person or what it felt like normal. But now I'm I'm moving so much more efficient, so much more productive, and I feel so much more uh, uh, in line with my goals. Like I'm able to achieve those things that I want to achieve because I'm doing these habits. And they're not just, I don't, I just want, I don't want it to sound like just you adapt these habits and they're easy. You have to keep trying, you fail, you go back and forth, back and forth, you start some that you like, but then when you do things you like, not only do they help you do things you enjoy, but they become easier. And then when they become easier, they compound on each other. Compound effect, I know it's in my brain, but um, like for example, waking up early, I don't just start waking up early and going to sleep at the same time. No, I started with my bedtime routine and started trying to move that up, trying to go to sleep at a certain time. And that helped me really wake up early. And that's only in the last couple months or two, maybe only like a month or two where I'm consistently waking up around seven. So um, I'm, I'm trying to push it now just because there's no real reason. And also I was, if you listen to my last podcast, I'm trying to do my podcast every day before work. But if I wake up at that time, I barely have enough time to sneak it in. So if I wake up earlier, I could 
have my coffee, have get woken up a little bit more, get a little uncongested, and then sit down and have some time to relax and record a podcast, which I really like to do. And I've noticed that on my weekends when I have more time to do that and have my morning routine, it's a lot uh, more relaxing and I, I have better content when I have time to kind of map it out. This one's not mapped out. This is all off the cuff. <laughs> Your boy's going off, but the point is get started. Let's go. That's enough. Just start trying these habits. You have to become the person you want to become. I don't know what I look like to you guys, or I don't know what it seems like, but I know to myself this is not – I don't even re- recognize myself waking up this early reading books. I, I mean I, I would be proud that I haven't read a book a year ago because I was like, I don't read at, at all. It was just – but now it's – I'm only reading things that I feel like are improving my life, and they are. And the more I read, they're all similar to each other. I'm reading right now Living in the Flow by Sky something. It's about synchronicities and – Finding your purpose, and it was purpose, and I had a really cool event at the bookstore that was a synchronicity that was super fascinating. I can get into, but you know, I just read the compound effect. That one was really inspiring, and whew, that's it. That's it. I'll leave it at that. Get up, go. Let's do it. Come on, daily podcast. We're back. It's week two. I don't know if I'm going to keep track of all the days. I'm going to try to do this every single day, but it's been eight days straight at least, I think. I don't know what my podcast is doing. I'm figuring that out as well. I have long episodes with my friend Barth. I'm going to have other people on. Loving all the feedback, loving all the uh, the what's it called? The, all the sharing of the energy and the inspiration. People are really telling me that they're uh, this is really helping them, and they're really liking it every morning. And I'm loving doing it because it starts my morning off with a great routine, gets my mindset going too. So it's a win, win, win. Let's go, Earth. Wake up. It's still spinning. It's kind of dizzy, right? Not really. I'm just congested. All right, love you. Have a great one.